Hey there, it's Rosie from iHeartRecipes.com and I'm going to show you how I make my smothered turkey wings in my slow cooker. So I started off with two huge turkey wings that I just cut up in three pieces. So we have the tips, the flats, and the drumstick. Here on my chopping board, I have some onion. I'm using red onion or purple onion. And I also have fresh sage and I had a huge portobello mushroom that I just diced up. In my bowl here, I have some all-purpose flour. I'm going to whisk it until it's nicely sifted. So you want to whisk or sift it, and now we can start adding in the seasonings. The first seasoning that I'm going to add in will be my seasoning salt, followed by my dried thyme. We'll also be adding in some garlic powder as well as some onion powder. And last but not least, I'm going to sprinkle in some celery seed. So let's mix everything until it is well incorporated. And now we can start coating the turkey pieces with that seasoned flour. Now FYI, once you're done coating the turkey wings, do not toss out the flour because we will be using the same flour for our gravy later on. So here is our turkey. As you see, it is nicely coated. Now our next step is to brown it. So let's walk over to our stove top. You're going to grab a large skillet or pan, same thing to me. And we're going to add in some vegetable oil, get it nice and hot and we're going to brown the turkey. Now we're not trying to cook the turkey all the way, we simply want to just brown it. Once you're done browning it, toss it into your slow cooker, and FYI, I'm using a six quart slow cooker for this recipe. So now we are going to go back to that pot, or pan, sorry, and we're going to start adding in the onion and the mushrooms that we diced and sliced earlier, and we're just going to cook them until they are nice and translucent. This is over medium heat, FYI. And now we can start adding the mushrooms and onions into the slow cooker as well. And the slow cooker is not yet on. So I have to add in some more vegetable oil at this time. And we're going to sprinkle the flour in. We're just going to cook it until it is nice and brown, just like so, until it turns a pretty peanut butter color, just like that. And now we're going to slowly start adding in our chicken broth or turkey broth, whichever you prefer. Whisk everything because you don't want any lumpy gravy. The heat is still on medium at this time. And once everything is nice and smooth, we can start adding in our fresh sage. And at this time, I also want you to add a little more salt and pepper if you feel that it's necessary. So now this is what our gravy is going to look like. We are ready to pour it over the turkey, wings, onions, and mushrooms. And then we're going to place the lid on our slow cooker and we're going to let our wings cook on low for six hours. So once the turkey wings are done, let me show you the finished look. This is it. As you see, they are falling off the bone, super, super tender. So you want to be careful. Otherwise they will, like I said, fall right off the bone. They are that tender. So when you remove them from that slow cooker, do it with caution, okay? Be really slow. Be careful because you don't want, you know, it to be a mess. But this is the finished look. I like to serve mine with mashed potatoes or rice and, of course, greens if I had them, but I didn't cook them this day. But look how tender the wings are. Oh, my goodness. You guys have to try this recipe. Let me know what you want me to make in my slow cooker next down below in the comment section, and I will try my best to answer that request.